Watch you guys today we're taking a look at how to check which group policies are applied to your PC whether it be a user policy or a computer policy I'll show you how to see which ones have been applied to that computer so let's take a look here policies are just like this one here where you can see some of these settings are managed by your organization quite a few people always ask how to remove these things and most of the time they are either done with scripts or policies in group policy editor or some other software that you may have downloaded and installed and run it on your computer. So first off, GP edit is what you need to type in the search box. And this is your group policy editor, which will have all of your policies on your system, whether it be uh, set for user or for computer. And you can see here, if you go to all settings and then click on the state up the top here, this will tell you basically what has been enabled. There'll be a list of stuff that's been enabled for all of your settings on that PC. Now you will need to have Windows 10 uh, Pro or Windows 11 Pro to run a uh, group policy editor. So if you've got the home version, you won't be able to uh, run a group policy on that system. And uh, unless you use the uh, bypass hack that is uh, going around on the internet, which has been around for a long time. But anyway, let's move on. So we're gonna go to the run box here. And if you type this command out, rsop.msc, push enter, this will also uh, give you all of the policies that have been applied to that computer. It's going to do a scan on your system. And basically, once it's finished that scan, it will give you a list. So let it just finished. And there you go. It's opened up the policy window again. And inside here, you can click on areas that you're concerned about, for instance, inside administrative templates and inside Windows components. And you can see I've already got one lot of policies that I've set up just for this video called App privacy and you can see they've all been enabled and it now gives me a list of everything that's been set up in a much more easier format to understand so you can use this method to find all of the policies that have been set up on that system and if you want to change them or remove them you can do pretty straightforward and easy to do so under the computer configuration and the user configuration this will determine whether it's computer level or whether it's user level so you can uh, set, set it out and uh, check it that way so that is by using that method right there. Very simple and easy to do. So let me close this off and show you how to do this in command prompt. Because a lot of people like to know how to do things in command prompt. So open up the search and type CMD and run this as administrator. This will open up the command prompt window from here. You can then just type out this simple command here. Uh, and this will give you a bunch of commands and switches that you can use uh, in the group policy. So type in here a GP result and then space forward slash and then question mark and this will give you all of the uh, commands and switches that you can use to get all the information that you want via the command prompt so let's take a look at how we can use this information and how you can even create a report by using a certain command and i'll show you how to do all of this in this video inside the command prompt so let's go ahead and we'll put some of these switches into action and you'll see how easy it is to get information for the user and for the computer, I'll show you those two uh, commands there and switches that you need. So first off, let's go ahead and type out this command right here. So let's clear the screen. And what we're going to do is type the first command, which will be GP result and then space forward slash R and then push enter. And this will give you some information. So let's go ahead and have a look at some basic information here about the system. So it's going to gather some information here. On the computer settings it will give you the os configuration os version and it will give you a bunch of other information there uh, as well like the site name and also the roaming profile and also the domain uh, name and domain type if you're on the domain that is and it will give you that information right there and you can see all that information listed right here so computer settings is down below here and then you've also got the user settings as well if you want to see a list of all of the stuff that you have, I'll show you how to do that as well. But this will give you just a general uh, look of the actual computer and user settings. So let's come on down and take a look here at some other bits in this list. You can see uh, there's uh, the user is a part of the following security groups, and it will give you a list there. Now, the command that's going to be probably more beneficial to you is the next command that we'll try here. So let's go ahead and uh, run this command so you can see how this one works. So let's clear the screen and we will do a, another command. So CLS is what we're going to type here to clear the screen. And if you want to get all the policies set for 
the user you type in here GP result space forward slash scope and then space forward slash user and then space forward slash V. Push enter and this will give you the information for the user settings that might be set on that system. So now we can see it will give us some more information here about the system. And this is much more uh, detailed information, as you can see, with the uh, administrative templates, software installations, logon scripts, and so on. It will give you the full list here. And you can see where it says none applicable. That means none have been set on this system. If they were, it will give you some information about the policy that has been set on that system. So it's quite useful. And that is for the user settings. Now, they do have one for the computer settings, which I'll show you now as well. And all you need to do really is change the command from user to computer. And this will give you a full breakdown of the computer settings, which is probably what's going to be on this system. So let's go ahead and do that command to see those uh, computer settings that have been set. GP result space forward slash scope space computer instead of user this time, because we want to see the computer uh, settings, then space forward slash V. And this will give us all of the computer settings for uh, this computer that have been set, all the policies. So let's go ahead and we got the same information, but now you can see those policies in a list which have been set on this computer under the computer uh, policies. Underneath the administrative templates, you can see a big list of them there. And that is the list that I just set for uh, this PC. So basically this will give you all the information and all the policies that have been set. And you can then go to that location and change them. Or you can print these out if you wanted to and make a report. I'll show you how to quickly make a report in a second, but you can see here, these have all been enabled on this computer. So if you've got a system that's got a bunch of policies set on it and you can't remember which ones they are, running these commands will basically give you a list of all of the policies that have been set on that PC, which is quite useful because obviously it means you can reverse the policy that might have been set that is causing you a problem. So let's go ahead and do the next command, which is basically gonna uh, show us the report that we want to get for all of these on here. So all you need to do for the report is type out this command right here. So we're gonna do a GP result, and then we're gonna do space, and then we're gonna do forward slash H, and then space the uh, report.html. Now you can call this whatever you like. You don't have to call it report, but if you wanna do report.html, and then push enter, it's going to make a report for us and it's going to put it in the system32 directory. If you want to put it somewhere else, you can do, but it's going to drop it straight in there because we never told it to go anywhere else. So let's go back into the system32 directory and we'll find that report and we can have a look at it. So let's go ahead and go this PC, C drive inside here, Windows and system32. And then you can just do a quick search for report or type R and do a search for R and it should bring up the report right here. So let's go ahead and push R. There we go. There's the report right there and it's just disappeared. So come down a bit. There it is. And then you can click on this, open it up, and this will give you the report that we just created for that computer. And there it is right here. Let me just open this up and this will give you a full report and summary of all of the settings that have been set on that system. Very simple and useful, and you can print this out and then give this to whoever you like. Anyway, that's that one done. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If you like this sort of content, then don't forget, let me know in the comment section below so I can understand what sort of content you like to watch and what content you don't, because I think this sort of content is quite useful, especially for people that end up with a lot of group policies on their system where they've been watching some video uh, and now they can't do certain things on their computer because there's been a policy set to stop them. So if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, then let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three, I really do appreciate the support. I should catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for your continued support, and I shall see you soon. Bye for now.